it was addressed to Sean O'Brien, General President. Dear sir and brother, I write you in response to your memo dated January 24, 2024, demanding that I attend a GEB meeting for the purpose of hearing from former President Donald J. Trump, who has been indicted on 91 felony charges. He is a known union buster, scab, and insurrectionist. I refuse to attend that meeting, which violates the clear language of the international constitution. In accordance with Article 2, Section 3, Paragraph A, which states the following, no person who knowingly associates, in parentheses, as that term has been defined in prior discussions or disciplinary charges under Article 19, close parentheses, with any member or associate of any organized crime family or any other criminal group or who actively advocates the overthrow of a federal, state, or provincial government by force or violence, or is a member of any party or group and knows of and actively its purpose to overthrow a federal, state, or provincial government by force or violence, shall be allowed to hold membership in the International Union or any of its sub subordinate bodies. Given this language and the appalling record of Trump appointing union busters to the DOL, NLRB, and United States Postal Service, his scabbing of an IOTSI picket line, and his refusal to act on the Butch Lewis Act on behalf of tens of thousands of pensioners across America, this meeting should not occur. Your private meeting with Trump, accompanied by the widely circulated thumbs up photo, appears as a tacit endorsement while it leaves the membership out of the loop. This private backdoor decision will divide the union and weaken it at the time when we need to fight corporate America and their union busters. During the UAW strike, he chose to meet with non-union workers and attack the UAW and its leadership. Joe Biden went to the picket line. I'll be more than happy to meet with Joe Biden on this date and echo the sentiments of UAW President Sean Fain and his full-throated endorsement of President Joe Biden. As a United States Army veteran, I cannot support a draft dodger, a traitor who deliber deliberately undermines the Constitution of the United States. We should never entertain dialogue with a candidate with such an anti-union record. Finally, you, sir, do not have the constitutional authority to require that I participate in a meeting with this reprehensible individual any more than you could require that I meet with an organized crime figure. I look forward to meeting President Joe Biden in the afternoon of the 31st.